Hey guys, what's going on? It's your Huggable Hipster. A very, very tired Huggable Hipster because I made a faux pas. Now, if any of you guys or gals have played Resident Evil Zero, you know that when you get to a certain part of this uh, part of the game, you have to like unlock a leech from a capsule. And in order to do that, you have to mix like certain agents together to get a stripping agent. And it's not as bad as it sounds. I know it sounds funny, but just wait. Um, it's where you have to like get a little, um, it's almost like a key, but it's an encapsulated leech to the point I put Billy up to get the leech and everything like that instead of Rebecca. Um, Rebecca is the one who can actually mix all of the stripping agents together in order to get everything. So what I had to do, stupid me, I went back, I had to replay the entire game up until this part because of my stupid faux pas and it took me about an hour to play through the entire thing up until this part so I had to take a break I went to shop right with my parents I was like you know what screw this for a little bit I'm gonna clear my head come back finish up the finish up that part of the game and now we're back here oh this is not gonna be good because it's a bad <laughs> and you notice that she isn't in the same uh, clothing so Sorry about that. I don't know if you guys like her better in her Skippy clothing or in her regular <laughs> Stars uniform. Oh looky, it's a bad. We're gonna have to fight this guy. He's not gonna relax, is he? Pew 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 uh, pew pew pew. No, don't reload. No, pew pew to pew pew to. Don't lift me up when I'm a no 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 no. No, I said no. I said no. You listen to me, Batty. My name is Batty. I'm all kind of snazzy. Something, something, something. I don't know the words to that song. Hey, 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 let me go. Let me go. If you love me, let me go. Shit, shit. Am I gonna be up? I'm on caution. I need to get healed. Hold on a second, Batty. I will be right with you to finish up our deeds and don't you dare. Ugh, God. This bat's gonna get a taste of its own medicine, I swear. I'm gonna get healed up and then things will be good because I don't die. I'm not dying. I'm not dying. I'm too young to die. This is not good. Okay. Alright, come on. Let's go. Come on. Oh, don't you even think about it. Don't you even think about it. Don't you even think about it. Da -da -ba -da 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 don't reload. Please don't reload. Just promise me you won't reload. Just die. Die. And we did it. We're gone. The bats finally did. Uh-huh. This is our snazzy bat dead dance. Ew. I love bats, but not like the good lord. Alright, so it looks like you could use something to get up there. <laughs> yep, and the one mistake that I made last time was I didn't bring the grappling hook with me. Well, guess who brought the fucking grappling hook? This person. Come on, Billy. So, <clears throat> we're gonna go back over here and grapple our hook and ourselves up into that spot. Uh, Billy's gonna go up there, not me this time. Uh, yeah, okay, so we're gonna do that and we're gonna use this and use that parfait. <laughs> I can't get that song out of my head. I love that song so much. But like, Panic at the Disco is my shiz. Just be prepared. There's gonna be some cursing in this episode. I'm just, I'm just about had it with today because there was just so much to do and so little time to do everything. Even though I woke up at like seven, I was like, okay, let's get this stuff done. All right, so let's turn on the power. That way we can go on the elevator, elevator. Not like a Dementor. So I'm not wearing my glasses today and I don't know what it is. I just feel like a very non-glasses kind of day. I don't wear contacts at all, which, okay, main reason why I don't wear contacts at all. I heard this one story that this one girl, she wore contacts and she was like having a barbecue over at her house and she leaned over to the barbecue and the contacts melted into her eyeball and she go, she go. <laughs> she went blind from it and I was like, oh my god, this is even more of a reason for me to, <laughs> to wear contacts. Like, that's not a good reason to wear contacts and ever since then, I've been afraid of wearing contacts. So, yeah, that's story time with Huggable Hipster, which <laughs> it's really awesome. Like, I don't know why I just thought of this. Like, 
for some reason, like, have you guys ever, like, now I'm talking to, like, some of my um, bigger YouTubers, like, have you ever thought back and tried to remember how you decided your username? Like, for me, I don't know how it exactly came about. I knew that one of my friends was telling me that, oh, I should totally name myself with something that has hipster in the title. I'm like, but what? What could I use? So, I just, I don't know suddenly came up with huggable hipster i don't know why i came up with huggable hipster maybe just because i really like hugs i really like hugs like i am a very huggy person i think it's also because of the fact that i really honestly like anything hipster i like it it's not just because of me being a hipster it's just because i actually like what hipsters like <laughs> and then this part of the game i actually really like this part of the game besides the leech man that you're gonna see soon i really really like this part of the game and this is the part of the game where i put billy Upstairs instead of Rebecca. I'm about to sneeze. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna do the sneeze. No sneezes. This is my sneeze face. Oh god. Crisis averted, people. Sneeze destroyed. Oh, we got some herbs. All right. Fancy schmancy. Lemon pantsy. Now, I'm gonna show you the part where I was a complete moron and just completely fucked everything up. By the way, I absolutely love these things. They're called Starbucks Double Shot Energy. I'm having mine in mocha. It's absolutely wonderful. It's God's best thing that's ever happened. So, this is where I done fucked up, Jim. This is the hole that you're supposed to um, go through, no pun intended. And instead of putting Rebecca up there, I put Billy up there and I had to restart the game up to this point. You're welcome. So, we're gonna read that letter that was on the table because I saw something shiny. Marcus's Diary 2. This page has been torn out. Trouble is unlikely. But close up my babies in the special- oh, <laughs> but I closed up my babies in special capsule, but it won't be safe. If I hold on to it myself, I'll hide it in that place. To hide a leaf, put it in a forest. Ooh, I don't know why I'm talking like this right now. To open the capsule, the special stripping agent is necessary. No way Spencer's lackeys could figure out how to make it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it looks like Spencer is a cackling idiot. And now we have to um, switch the grappling hook to Rebecca, which um, this is the first time she's using it. So it's the first time for everything, Rebecca. It's okay. And we're going to go over and use that grappling hook. Oh my gosh. Thank God I'm doing it the right way because that would have sucked if I had done it the wrong way all over again. I tell you, sometimes I'm blonde, but I'm not that blonde. Yay. And now Rebecca can finally do the things. Oh, shit. Nope, nope, no, 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 no,
Okay, so we're gonna go this way and we are going to make haste over to this part because I think this is where we have to um, grab one of the chemicals. Because last time I played this game, this was like, what, a few years ago I played this and my memory is probably shocked from this. Shit, 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 oh my tits, shit, nope, nope. Come on, nope, there we go, perfect. Okay, so looks like some kind of chemical, put it in the mixing set, you already have a green chemical. Okay, I already have a green chemical apparently. That's great. Oh, there's another note. Okay, I shall read it with haste. Dr. Marcus, co-founder with President Spencer of the Umbrella Corporation, disappeared 20 years ago. The results of his research have been kept under wraps the entire time. The reason being clear here at the training facility run by Dr. Marcus, well, not here exactly, but underground. When we ventured below, we understood. There were found evidence of Dr. Dr. Marcus's research on the T-virus prototype called Progenitor. The, the evidence of years of hideous experimentation that used company employees as guinea pigs. We cannot know how many were forced to become subjects, but based on the evidence, no less than 20 individuals were involved, and some of them were taken deliberately to keep corporation secrets safe. Where the doctor is now, I don't know, but considering the recent rapid growth of Umbrella Corporation, I can't help but think that the research is continuing. Yes, his experiment lives and continues to grow in the dark. You can't grow things in the dark no matter how hard you try, it's possible. These things, the fruit of his research, they fill this facility. The rest of the notebook and pages are missing. Yay. Yay for research and human experimentation and mutilation. Mysterious thing on the operating machine. Oh, okay then. Fine. So wait, can I combine this No, I can't combine it. Okay, never mind then. I'm sorry, I tried. Okay, I don't know if there's anything else that we need to get from this room other than that. Okay, so I guess we have to get a red chemical because last time I re remember correctly, to, in order to strip this agent off of the capsule, we need to get a red chemical with a green chemical, mix it together, and then you get a perfect harmony of chemicals which would probably be deadly for Rebecca if she consumed them. I don't know why she would consume Okay, by the way, we need to press this button for Billy to be able to go through there. So, yeah, that's a thing. Oh, and there's a leech man over there. That's lovely. That's that's great. That's, that's just, that's lovely. Alright, so we're gonna see if there's any other chemicals that's over here, and if there are, then we know what to combine them with. Red chemical, please be in my reach. Please? Please. Please, Seymour, please help me. Okay, let's go and do this pro- Hey! Hey! No, 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 no. God. I don't- I don't like you. I really don't like you. I don't. I don't. Green chemical is already in your mixing set at it? Yes. Oh, the red chemical and the green chemical have been mixed to form a stripping agent. There we go. Alright. So, now we are going to combine this with that. And now we have that. So that's perfect. So now we have to give this to Billy. Because, oh, look at him twitching. Oh god. We have a zombie twitch alert. Oh, imagine if like a zombie started twerking. That would not be a good idea. Like just imagine like body parts falling off everywhere. He's twerking away trying to look sexy and now you just have like a twerking flesh disgusting mess. By the way, that's a very bad image I just put in your head and I apologize. <laughs> So now we have to give that to Billy because he is right where the blue room is and he has to um, put that little charm in there. So charming. I know, I'm so funny. So we're gonna go back, give him the... where is it? What? Oh, well it looks like he killed a zombie. That was... Interesting. I didn't know that there was even a zombie there. That's weird. Okay. Huh. Alright, well, I guess we were hearing remnants of when he was killing the zombie. Alright. Fun times. Let's go. I was about to say adjust this. We're not adjusting it. We're applying it somewhere. Ariel, words. Use them. I can use my words just fine. Thank you. I just have a hard time 
having them come out of this hole in my mouth. Okay, come on, go past you. I can go past you. Yay. Go past you. What? Yay. <laughs> Alright. Come on. Come on. Come on. Use the door. Use- Yay. What a pretty door. So blue. Why is it so sad? Oh. Oh. The graphics in here have improved tenfold. Holy hell. Mysterious objects are floating in the water. Well, somebody hasn't fed their fishies in a while. An input regular coil. Oh, okay. All right, I will take that. Most definitely. There's something else here. There's something written on the back of the photograph. To James, to commemorate your graduation in 1939. Huh. Judging by his age, that guy could be Marcus's son or grandson. What is this door lead to? Oh, please don't be something horrific that's gonna come out and bite my ass. That would be nice of you. Oh, there is a zombie there, and in a very well lit room. Ah, uh, yeah, I knew it was good. Oh, goody goody, I'm the cocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What did, did I just say? Goody goody, gum cocks. What the hell? Okay, alright, you know what? We'll go with it. We'll... <laughs> no, 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 I'm not that tasty. Get off of me, you son of a nutfuck. Ugh. <sighs> Why would I... S okay, you know what? This is an entire issue I think we're gonna have to explore at a later time because the reason for me saying goody goody gumcocks is beyond me. Oh, there's the other leech thing, so we have to give that one to Rebecca. Okay, so we have some nice paintings some birds that look like they were near some foliage, and some jewels which Billy might take if I weren't in charge of him. This door is antique. It's full of dust. Well, no shit, Einstein. This place has probably been abandoned for years. Okay, so, oh wow, look at the dust pickup. Oh, yay, okay, we have some, uh, Hans Gummer, some magazines. Is that a... Yes, it is. Okay, but I already have some right now, and we're not gonna use it. And we're gonna give this to Rebecca. Do a little, uh, tritio over here, if you know what I'm saying. Have some more coffee. A little smidgen. I'm way too hyper right now, you son of a- Fuck that. God almighty. I swear, sometimes I don't know what your mother did wrong when she was raising you. Like, imagine a leech mother and her leech son. Like, I know you're supposed to leech onto things, but didn't she say that there was supposed to be a very fine line in not leeching onto humans because, quite frankly, that's disturbing. Sometimes the things that come out of my mouth, I don't even know why I'm saying them. Sometimes I just drink coffee, words come out, and I, you know, I hear about it a couple of days later in a Facebook post that I'm tagged in. I know you guys have had the experiences. Don't think I don't know about the experiences where you all of a sudden are saying one thing and then you hear about it on Facebook a couple of days later, being like, oh yeah, I think I remember saying that. <laughs> because apparently your friends find you hilarious and they want to take part in your suffering of hilarity. Okay, so we are going to open up this door. And I think it's this way. I believe it's this way. Actually, I kind of know it's this way. It's probably this way because I'm a big poopy doo. Okay, so now we have the leech for this door, which isn't creepy at all. That's not creepy at all. Then we have to use a leech to, in order to unlock a door. Oh, good lord. I like how they're using the primary colors in order of significance. Reds, blues, greens, violet and indigo. Oh, I see hand gun ammo. I see hand gun ammo. Lovely. We're in a morgue. That's not creepy at all. It, no, no, goody goody, come cocks, get out of here, stop it. Is that Wesker? It looks like Wesker. That kind of looked like Wesker. And that zombie is still twitching. That zombie is twitching. That's disturbing. Oh, good lord. Oh, is that a, yeah, that's a thing. Oh, that's a thing that I'm going to need to insert into the other thing that I need to open up the thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about from- no, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Never mind, hold on a sec. Oh my god. Look at that dead butt. Alright, let's get all the ammo that we can because I have a feeling shit's about to go down with this twitching zombie. I mean, this is not- no, never not, no. Uh-uh. I think we did so good so far, by the way, for this episode. We already unlocked two doors. We found the stripping agent, we did everything necessary, and I think we're gonna leave it here for this episode. So, <laughs> it was so worth it though because at the end of the day, like, I think this is probably going to be edited down from like 
an hour's worth of footage down to maybe like 15, 16 minutes or so. But it was so worth it because like playing through the entire game, it showed me like even when you finish up with an area, there are other zombies that you have to go back and kill and that's how you get the most points in the game. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough of Resident Evil today. And if you like this video, please attack that like button. Happy living and let's do it all together, shall we? Hipster fist it.